Uh, first of all, really nice to meet you, Patrick. Truly inspiring. I think we need to move away now uh, because there's a car coming That's here. Okay. That's okay. That's uh, okay. So I'm the co-founder and the CEO of War on Cancer. Uh, we're a tech company on a mission to radically improve mental health for everyone who's been touched by cancer. And the main product that we are developing is the War on Cancer app which is a social networking app for patients, survivors, and loved ones. Focused on storytelling as one of the main ingredients, but also a rather unique feature that we're developing with regards to patient recorded data, which is called Track Your Impact. So in essence, what that means is it's gonna be a feature on the platform which will allow all of our members who are engaging on the platform to choose if they want to engage in different forms of health data sharing. Now, if they choose to do that, they will be able to transparently on a world map track where that data is traveling, by whom it's being used, but most importantly, what impact and what value that data is generating. So it's a way for us to facilitate altruistic happiness as a way to deal and cope with the mental health, which is to go through cancer mental trauma, of course. Uh, I'm a cancer patient myself. I was diagnosed some three and a half years ago with leukemia. Uh, in December 2017, I finished 900 days of chemotherapy. And my way of dealing with the whole journey was, uh, a whole, whole trauma of cancer was to share everything openly in a blog. And that made me understand the true power and potential of storytelling. So through those experiences, we started building War on Cancer. And we are live today, uh, currently available on the App Store. Uh, and you're more than welcome to join us uh, and build this idea. community together with us. Good, good. So we can find your app on the App Store and yes. we can join in and share our data because the most important thing is the more information we all have, the greater the knowledge we will be able to share and use together to beat cancer. Exactly. Just like yourself, you have a strong belief and a knowledge, I would say, in how much, for instance, nutrition can affect our general health status and our, especially with regards to cancer. Uh, to really facilitate that, improve that, I think that the best way to do is to start to gather data together and through that we can find the solution. And what's your comment on remaining positive? A hundred percent. Positivity and a positive mindset is should not be taken lightly. It's a discipline and it should be taught by doctors in healthcare as, a, as, as part of the uh, healing process. And how about exercise? Do you agree that exercise is a good way of helping to get through cancer and live Absolutely. a healthy life? Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, I think I started exercising properly about six months into my uh, cancer diagnosis and uh, from then on I've been doing exercising at least four or five times a week. Uh, it keeps me sane uh, and it keeps my body strong. Uh, so definitely I, I fully believe in exercise as a well. And Fabian, have you changed your diet since uh, you had your cancers? I have. I have. Not as much as you have. Uh, however, I'm, uh, I'm transcending uh, obviously or naturally. Uh, to a vegetarian diet, yeah. looking looking at a veganism as well. Uh, haven't really made that like lastly. Um, also, looking into uh, supplements much more uh, in a much more structured way. Uh, constantly researching uh, the internet and asking around for uh, different powders, different uh, supplements uh, to boost and complement my my uh, daily normal diets. And finally, were you lucky because you were caught with your leukemia early on and so therefore benefited by early diagnosis, which is one of the primary reasons why I'm trying to encourage people to uh, affect early diagnosis if they can? In my case, no, uh, because my form of diagnosis is, was acute lymphoblastic leukemia, so it just came out of nowhere uh -huh. and I had to start the deal, like start with chemotherapy right away. Wow. Uh, so wow. for me, wow. as it, it was about a month before I just started feeling really tired yeah. uh, and that just grew into an exhaustion, it started aching all of my body and then a month later uh, I had to go to the emergency because I had I struggled to breathe. Yeah. Uh, I had this pain in my chest area and that's why I went in and then they found a tumor here yeah. which turned out to be a tumor related to leukemia. Wow. And uh, so for, in my 
case, uh, Early it diagnosis wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have worked. But however, I, I, I really believe and hope that we can build a new future where it's very normal to go and check yourself uh, in different ways. There are a lot of opportunities, but then I think also that the governments should start to finance that because right now it can be quite costly in many countries and it should be free available because of the cost savings that can make, provide to the whole nation. Fabian, that's been a brilliant message for everybody back in the UK and around the world. Thank you very, very much for allowing me to meet with you and enjoy your story. And I hope we can build this app together in a huge way. Thank, Thank you very you. much. It's been an inspiration.